So this is your daily debrief. The date is the 19th of August. Let's talk about Bitcoin and the price that's happening there. We dipped down on the 5th of August down to like $49,000 on affairs of war and recession and things like that. Now this, now we've come up and now I think we're going to be going further, a little bit higher. Let's have a look at the general crypto market as well. ETH down a little bit and Solana came up a little bit, then it's gone down over the last 24 hours. We're doing okay and nothing really is pumping at present. We're still in this accumulation kind of stage. Goldman Sachs, who I don't take uh, like what their opinion in any way to be valid. So I'm just sharing it with you just to point out that a mainstream media, you know, group of people that are actually very, very good at what they do, but also good at tricking people to think different things so they can trade against you. They have trimmed the recession odds to 20% from 25%. So they thought, you know, a recession was coming soon. And they've also said come September, if the job report's favorable, then it will move down to 15% which is where it was for a year. Essentially, we don't see a recession really start to come, in my opinion, until 2026. Now let's have a look at Blunts and his move on Bitcoin. So he thinks Bitcoin's going to come up to 65k or higher, and it's a time to bid your favorite coins. And looking down, this was a little bit earlier. If we click on this here, we can see a move down to 55k, sorry, a move down to 55k and then up. Just something to put into your onto your radar that we could be coming down and then coming back up again. But there's something specific here that I wanted to show. So we haven't come down to this 55k yet, but you can expect from his point of view, we we dip down. We're still quite quite a quite a bit around fifty eight thousand dollars. But in particular, if it does pump, then our other coins should lift up. You know, you may want to accumulate a little bit now and then just try to sell at like 10 or 15 percent of an increase if you're after something like that. Certainly no leverage, anything like that. Not, nothing like that is what I'm planning. And then the total three structure per blunt looks amazing. Very clear five wave rising from the lows on the four hour. And this is the total crypto market cap excluding B. So his opinion here is once again, we can come down, we'll bounce off it, and then we'll spring up. And the total market cap, this is going to be you know, your soul, your other old coins, your, your meme coins and, and such. That's his opinion. Sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong. Next bit of news. Remember, the ticker is CAT. I'm not here trying to shield you on CAT. I just think it has a huge amount of potential, and I feel that this one will do well. If I have missed some part of my research and, and there's like a lot of sell pressure or they haven't got their marketing right, then I'll be wrong. But I don't think I'm going to be wrong. I don't expect a crazy 10x like within the first month or anything like that. But I mean, it's also not an, uh, not an impossibility. So I've gone and prepared myself. You can watch this video here completely unbiased. Just think it's a perfect opportunity. Next bit of news. Let's move on to Meteora. Now, Meteora DLMMs, they're hard. You kind of have to go at them full time, properly full time. If you are doing them completely full time, then you might make some decent money. At present, that's not really the case though. So instead, what you, what you can do is you can earn points just by adding liquidity there. You earn 1,000 points per dollar earned from fees, but also one point per dollar in liquidity every 24 hours. So this means that if we go and use the Judo Soul and Soul Liquidity Vault here with Camino, we're getting boosted fees. We're earning 8.18% per year, which is nothing crazy. But if you go and put like $10,000 in there, you're getting 10,000 points every day. And this uses the Meteor Dex, or you can go and use other things like Dupe Soul and INF. The divergence loss, the impairments loss on this, it's going to be very minimal because they're literally it's trading between a very exact pattern, right? Because they are both liquid staking tokens. However, you are not going to earn very much. It's really about just getting points. And you've, you're getting that liquidity in there. Dupe Soul, Judo Soul, same deal right there. Next bit of news, DiviBet is launching with Bonk. We're still going over exactly what we think the tokenomics are going to be like. So we should have that for you tomorrow, ideally. But here's a bit of a TLDR. It will be linked below. Launch, we don't know when the launch is happening. The Divi allocation claim, there's going to be a claim available for different people. So if someone's gone and used it, there's 15 million Divi points that go down to if you've actually, as far as I understand, and I'm, I'm still going through this information, but if you've used the platform in some way, you're going to get some, some aspect of Divi points. And then if you minted a Divi house pass, also 15 million has been divided amongst those. There will be partners. There's partnerships as well between Bonk, Asset Dash, and I don't know what these, who these guys are, or the Nemesis. So there are a few communities that are receiving an allocation. So if you own Elemental with Asset Dash, you might get a little bit. I don't expect it to do terribly well straight off the bat. Hopefully they can keep on building because they have been doing well in terms of their building. Now, these tokenomics are from May. They could have been revised. Here's a breakdown here. This obviously relates to if they launched on Jupe, which they're not launching on Jupe. And so we'll have to see how they're going to do. I don't know what the token is going to be used for yet. Some tokens are also reserved for Galaxy. I don't have time for these sort of Galaxy quests 
most of the time, unless it's something like something I'm really bullish on, like Infinex or something along those lines. But there's still uh, there's still a chance that you can go and earn some points here. Maybe worth your time if you if you just have the time and you want to try and gain some exposure. More I'm letting you know. I don't really care strongly about it. Next bit of news: PYUSD is now on Save. Save used to be called Solend, and this is the oldest out of all the ones that we actively use. So Save was from 2021, and they they've already released their token. It's already done, so there's no like points farming. So they they have quite a bit of difficulty to actually attract more liquidity because they can't incentivize you like Camino. So it was earning 28%. That has now come down though. It's now down to 20%. So it didn't last for very long. But you can borrow. I'm not sure if we if this means no one's borrowed or if there's okay, borrowers are disabled. Okay. Well, that's annoying. But as soon as borrowers become available, we'll check on it daily. And as soon as we can, if we can go in with Soul and then we can borrow at like 2%, this would be pretty decent. Lulo, just a reminder, this is the best place to put it to work. If you put PYUSD in here, as far as we're aware, it won't be routed to save yet. We can see there's no save icon here for PYUSD, but there is for USD coin. Just don't let your token sit idle. And just for reference, nothing of course is financial advice, but I'm taking all my USDC, I've just got random bits of USDC in different wallets converting it to PYUSD and just putting it into Lulo. Fabiano has a guide on how you can earn a 26% airdrop APR on top of the 12% APR for lending USDC. This is with NX Finance. I have a video on NX Finance. Give this a, a read if you're if you're keen on it. Just full, just to be very, very clear, I le have less than $1,000 in NX Finance doing the JLP multiplier. Super bullish on JLP. And I think Multiply is a great product, but I'm more keen to use Camino at this stage. They do have an audit. There's nothing wrong with using them. They're just new. They're not They're not as proven. So I've gone with less funds. But this has not been active for, for very long. It's 48 days. And some of these things are very underfarmed. Having said that, you know, a protocol like this, when it does do a token, if they can hold off their token launch until the end of the year when things look a little bit better, it could be definitely worth your time. You can sign up with my team. My team name is Seb Monty. Just join my team. NX Finance, it's got a pretty good layup. It's similar to Jupe, which is a little bit strange. You should probably should go for your own, your own branding. But you can see you're earning this, but you're also getting that APR for airdrop. And just as a reminder, if you want to leverage up JLP, you can go 5x. 5x is way too risky in my opinion. So I think it's far safer to kind of stay uh, like two and a half to three, but you can go 5x if the market's really, really good, but it's a little bit scary. Just make sure in order to actually get the airdrop, you need to go and follow, join, and then join the team. Join the team here, Seb Monty. They have Galaxy Quests, sorry, they have Zealy Quests as well. There's not too many things, but I mean, this could be worth it in order to get some points if you're into that sort of thing. News from Uprock. So Uprock is uh, a deep in AI model that I've covered before. And what they're doing is they're introducing distributed edge computing on chain with OR. So I need to see when this is actually, when it's gone live. It may have already gone live. I haven't tried it yet. So I'm going to try it today and then let you know how it goes tomorrow. But if you've got a decent phone, plug it in and connect to the Wi-Fi. They're going to take a profit share, but all you have to do is just use the Uprock app. Update, it's only for Android, but this could be properly, properly decent. The thing with OR is it reminds me of, I can't even remember what the token was called, actually. It reminded me of a token that was being mined in the last cycle on your phone, and they're like trying to pretend, pretend or be the next Bitcoin. And I started on my phone, then I just kind of gave up. And that token actually continued to do well. And so if I had continued, I probably would have had, I know, half a million dollars worth of a token just for leaving my phone on. But I didn't. So sometimes it's just those kind of risks that you take. It doesn't use much electricity. You've got a spare phone. It's a decent phone. You plug it in. It's low maintenance. It's worth it. Just, just as an idea. Also, I'll throw it in here. People have asked me for like updates from Uprock specifically. Well, I guess for two things. One, their token. Their token probably isn't doing too well. Uh, this launched at four cents. It's it's down. It's got this fully diluted valuation is incorrect, but it's tiny, right? It's very, very tiny. The thing is, all they have to do is turn on revenue generation. I don't know how long that's going to take. So when I can find out or when it's publicly available and I can tell you and they start generating revenue, this is when I see this go up. This is the only reason why it would go up. And also grass, they've already got things organized as far as I'm aware. So the competitors are already doing well there will be availability in the space to have more than one person win. For now, all looks like something that could do well. Also, specifically with Uprock, people have asked about Pioneers. The thing with Pioneers was it was supposed to be a mint that went out as a different system, had a different a way of accruing value by having all these different deepened tokens. But then I think Uprock got too busy with Uprock. And 
So I don't even know what these cost right now. We'll have a quick look on Tensor. Let's have a look at DPioneers. They are pretty close to essentially what their value is. I mean, they hold their value because you can liquidate them for this price. But if you got in uh, and if you paid like two and a half sol or something like that, then yeah, it's not going to do well. Essentially, if you buy it now, you're basically, you're buying it and you're getting an allocation of different tokens. I don't know if I've worked it out, but not terribly bullish on them. But I think a pro like a community like this could do well, but probably not where I'm going to allocate uh, capital. I've got a couple of them, but just letting you know, for full transparency, it has product market fit. I don't think they put in enough effort for it. Not because they intentionally did bad, just because of the fact that people don't understand that NFTs require a lot of work. And that's why, you know, you can look at even Superbase, which is hyped. And, you know, this has dropped considerably below. It's one soul floor and soul has gone down. It's not to FUD the project or FUD anyone. NFTs are really hard. This is not NFT season. That's why, you know, most things are definitely going to go up. Solana Sensei was another one. It went up like after mint and now it's down. They minted for three soul. And now you're taking a one soul loss. Next bit of news, IO net, it's time to stake. So if you have any IO tokens, you can go and stake them. I don't know what the APR is or anything like that. So have a look into it if it's, if it's for you, because uh, we don't have any information here at present. We'll look into that and I'll report back if you do have IO tokens. A little bit of a change of focus here. So we cover Solana for the most part. As I mentioned, we're going to branch out into other ecosystems because there's a lot of value. And Monad is probably the most hyped ecosystem that's new. These new ecosystems, they get a lot more liquidity because the token hasn't done a run up. There's a lot more value to be captured. They are launching at the, at the right time, whereas Sui and Aptos, they launched at the end of the bull market last cycle, which is it's better for like long term, but it's not better for hype. They could still do well. We'll just have to see. So early projects in the Monad ecosystem, we're going to play on this. I'll make a, a dedicated video. I'll have to do some research. I'm not going to necessarily suggest anyone to try and reach, reach level 35 on discord but it would be probably worthwhile an insane amount of hustle and i need to work out where we can play on play on the actual test net if anyone's playing on this already let me know what you're playing with but i think this is worth our time now this has been included from my researcher i'm not bullish on with but if people are then you can have a look at the fact that you sometimes you need to zoom out it doesn't mean you have to you can apply this to any good token as well so this is with with it pumped almost a thousand percent, retrace 84, then pumped, then retrace, then pumped, then it's retraced. Do we pump? I don't really care because I don't care for width. But you can probably follow the same thing as long as it's continuing to grow and grow. Just remember, strong memes are at a discount. I'm raising this mostly because it's a good tweet that it relates to memes. And in particular, Bonk. I think Bonk still just is just so worthwhile. They're down 62% from its all time high. So leveraging this, way too scary. But look, it's just pumped and pumped and then pumped. Uh, not as high, of course, but that's my kind of takeaway there. Okay, next bit of news here, more stuff on meme coins. So this is from John Wang, and they're just shipping and shipping as per Tolly. The meme coin game is broken. The playing field is aggressively skewed towards ruggers and bots over genuine traders and content creators. We're building a dub.social to make the trenches fun again. I think John has reached out to me on Telegram, so I'm going to be looking into this more. But get in early. In just over 48 hours, 14,000 real Twitter users signed up and deposited. 22,000 cumulative followers on, of waitlisties. A retweet, notable signups. So I think this is worth actually going and following. Follow him. Have a look at Dub, uh, Dub, Dub Social. Follow that and Crypto Social. Join here. Create an account. I can create a tutorial. There are some people ahead of me. I would imagine I should be able to jump ahead so I can show people, but I'm not even sure. We're still in the early days. Pump.fun is making a whole lot of money. This is going primarily to like people that extract. This is the thing with, with anything where there's like a decent amount of money. People will extract value. Ideally, I think our best way is we make some money, but we add to the space. That way you're kind of keeping your morals in as well. All right, let's go over the actionables. Watch my video on Simon's Cap meme coin. Jito sold PYUSD vault on Camino is 50% APY. Lend PYUSD on Lulo Fi for 90% APY. Remove your liquidity from liquidity.clone.so. I'll remind you about this in a week. And after that, you're on your own. Stake your bonk on bonkrewards.com to participate in bonk.live. And the airdrop actionables. I'm not doing it, but you may want to do Divi Bet's Galaxy task. Deposit into Camino's Jito sold sold meteor pool. This definitely worthwhile. Lend USDC on NX Finance. Follow Fabiano's guide. Make sure you sign up for the airdrop aspect and get $100 worth of Flocky or BNB on ETH. On BNB or ETH. I've done it on BNB. 
not financial advice, but it's probably going to do pretty good, similar to how uh, Bonk and Whiff will probably do. And finally, play Hamster Combat for five minutes every day. I'm going to stop reminding you about this until we've got more clarification on their token generation event. So that's all for today. Thanks very much for watching and make sure you subscribe to catch future videos. Oh.